Okay, so my next book is Sam's Sandwich by David Pelham. And these all fold in, but when you fold them out, they make a cute little sandwich. And I already went through and unfolded them all, so I figured I'd just leave them. So the book in all does make a very cute little sandwich. Um, so this book is about Sam and his sister, Samantha. I totally thought she had a different name. Um, so this is about a brother, Sam, and a sister, Samantha. And Samantha decides that she's really hungry and she needs something else. And so Sam, her older brother, is, oh, I'll make you a better sandwich. I'll, I'll, I'll help you. And in each of these little layers, to get back at his sister, he puts a very nasty little creepy crawly. So in the lettuce, he puts a caterpillar. Um, in the tomatoes, he puts a slug. In the cheese, he puts ants. And the watercress, he puts a fly. Um, and the cucumbers, he puts worms. In the hard-boiled eggs, he puts a snail. And the salami, he puts a spider, which I did not even like, even though it was just a drawing. And in the onions, he put, I'm not sure what this is, but this is what he puts in it. If anybody could tell me, I don't know. And then in the ketchup, there's a centipede. Why ketchup is on a sandwich anyway? I'm not aware. Um, so it's a toy book because it folds out in all different kinds of things, in all different sorts of ways. And it's, I mean, it was, it was fun. Um, the connection, always incognitive. This book has a lot of words. It has more book, more words than any book I have shown so far. Um, and so it is mostly words. On both pages, there are words. Um, so this is really going to help with our language development, and it uses words like giant and special and crisp and green and zesty. And so this is a really great thing to do something like adjectives with. Um, so, you know, write a story of, you know, write a story about give a topic, and then make sure you use so many adjectives. Um, so that kind of thing, you can have them do like an adjective worksheet, anything like that. So anything to help reinforce those adjectives. I also think this enforces personality development. So how we should treat others around us, which could also flow into social, um, how we treat those around us, maybe more social and personality, but definitely social. Um, language as always cognitive as always really cute book um i think i can see a class of like second third graders really giggling at it um it's it's very cute so and i think the little ending when you can actually physically see a sandwich is pretty cool um so i really liked it i really enjoyed it so definitely that cognitive person or cognitive social and language development is involved with this book <laughs>